peeps, it's Julia Jordan, your favorite real estate agent, coming to you with good and with bad news. Bad news first. The market is bad. We cannot buy a house. We are waiting for interest rates to come down. The bad news is that was your excuse already the last two years. You're waiting for the market to change for the better and you didn't buy. Guess what will happen? You will wait again. You will miss out again. I tell you the good news. The good news is you can double dip right now. You're like, this is not the market to buy. Oh, yes, it is. And you didn't listen to me the last two years. So at least listen to me now. What you do is you buy a house right now. You buy, yes, at a little bit higher interest rate than normal. We are still under, um, over the decades, the average, how's it called? The average interest rate. We're still under that, okay? Um, so you buy a house right now because right now me as your agent, uh, pick me as your agent, just go with the good one because you don't pay for me anyways the seller pays for me so you go under contract and I right now can negotiate for you this is a very little uh, gap in the market where we can negotiate I personally think this will last three six nine months maximum after nine months I cannot promise for no nothing anymore right now when you go with new home builders you get super low interest rate and even a lot of lenders do buy downs what means for a year or two or three years they're buying down your interest rates and also many of them so pick a good vendor for that and I can help you with that of course they help you uh, to refi with no additional charge because they want to keep your business so right now you buy at a good price Second, uh, I can negotiate for you the terms. Third, often the seller gives seller concessions because right now the seller is a little bit struggle to find a good buyer. So if we have you solid pre-approved, guess what? You're a solid offer. We know how to write a, hey Karen, thanks for watching. Uh, we can write you a solid offer and then uh, often you get super cool extra offers especially with new home builders you get grass fully fenced you get a garage opener you get a sprinkler system washer dryer stainless steel fridge yada 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 so right now is a good um, time to buy for those reasons and then what you do is there comes the double dip. The double dip does not come right away. The double dip comes a little bit later and I don't have the crystal ball. I cannot tell the future. Uh, and for liability, Keller Williams says, please don't say a date or something. But I personally expect in 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, interest rate will come down and then you refi. And if you are hooked up with a lender that lets you refi for no charge, even better. But let's say uh, whatever, you are with a lender that does not offer that. You pay about 5K, 7K, depending on how large your house is the larger the house and the purchase price the higher it will be but it totally makes sense to refi because let's say your refi costs you 5k or 7k um when you refi your monthly payment comes down and you make that money back right away okay and probably in the meantime also appreciation has gone up Again, I cannot tell the future, but it's very, very likely. So appreciation has gone up and you do a cash out refi. What means you cash out, let's say 80% of that value in a year or two or three. So you don't even pay for your refi in case you're with a lender where you pay or you get more cash in your pocket or people like me. I bought a house and I sucked it up. Okay. I have to pay a higher interest rate. I'm over 7%. Did I like it? No, I didn't like it. But did I get the house that I wanted? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. So I will add a pool very likely next spring. Uh, the, I mean, spring is already in four weeks. Um, next year, I will add a pool. And then I wait for interest rates to go down. And then I refi. So I put basically the, the expense of my pool into the mortgage. And maybe in the meantime, I get lucky and prices even have come up. My neighborhood is very popular. Here, a little pocket in uh, Glenlock Farms. It's called North Lakes. Beautiful. The best neighbors. I can everybody recommend living here in Glenlock Farms. Um, and then I will refi, get my money back out and then play the whole game all over again using my cash that I would have spent for the pool and using it for more investing. So good news is it is a good time to buy. Bad news is who had an excuse the last two, three years might continue. Oh, life is just against me. No, no, no. Life is not against you. You just don't listen. <laughs> so listen to the experts. And if you want to have a chat about real estate investing, about buying your first property, uh, I love selling the fancy houses, okay, uh, or buying the fancy houses with my clients. But what I like even a little bit more is getting first-time home buyers out of 
burning their cash in a mortgage and getting them into their first place. That is just personally satisfaction for me. If you buy a little house, $245,000 brand new houses we have right now for 245. Hello, hello, hello. Granite counters, Moen, faucet, all of that good stuff. Uh, or you buy fancy later on. I just love, love, love to see that. I am a landlord, you know, I have multiple multiple houses that I'm renting out and I ask my tenants every year, do you wanna renew the lease or do you wanna purchase something with me? Purchase something, come on, don't make people like me more rich. And they're like, nah, we had a fancy wedding, we had this, we had that. There's always an excuse. So now you watch this video, you don't have an excuse anymore. Get your booty up, um, get your phone picked up, give me a call. You and me share your situation be as open as you can the better i can help you and then i give you advice how to move forward at least that you have a strategy i will not put a gun on your chest to make you buy right away but at least i will point you up a path to success to stop paying rent and then the next step is to buy rental properties okay and it's not rocket science i did it i was a four and i was not even capable of the language i just had a client whatever long story short but i just had a client and they told me i'm still not capable of the language well i was capable of the language just enough to make a whole bunch of money as a foreigner in this country and understand very well how in german we say how the bunny runs like <laughs> how how this game goes with financing and getting a mortgage and buying rental houses and if you want to know as well let me know my name is 83 uh, my name is my number is 8324444923 always feel free to call me if i'm not available i call you back next opportunity send me a text message send me an email julia jordan real estate at gmail.com or just send me a message here on facebook and i get you hooked up with all my favorite vendors people that get you a mortgage, people that give you real estate advice, people that fix up your credit for no charge. Hello, don't pay for that. Please, please, please don't burn your money, okay? And then we get you all up to speed um, and in your own house whenever you want. Most people are able to buy in six, 12 months. That's usually the maximum of what I see. If you had seven bankruptcies, I'm sorry, that will take a little bit longer, but not most people we can help faster. Okay, I wish you guys a happy rest of your week. And if you think my hair looks fantastic, please write it in the comments. And I did not think to this except a little bit hairspray here. And if you want my hairdresser's contact, she um, would appreciate some referrals too. Let me know and I will hook you up with my hairdresser, Ilan. She's amazing. First of all, she's super nice and then she just does my hair that i look like a movie star okie dokie you guys have a wonderful day bye merry christmas